Hey guys, Caitlin here from CSS Wellness with your 15s class. I hope you came ready to work because we have 15 minutes of cardio, 15 minutes of strength, and we finish out this class with 15 minutes of flexibility work, getting your stretch on after this intense exercise. Let me go ahead and get my timer going so that I keep you guys on track. Okay, so we've been doing it for the last few classes. I'm gonna keep it going. We have 100 jumping jacks, 90 butt kickers, 80 high knees, 70 front kicks, 60 mountain climbers, 50 plank jacks, 40 doubles presses, and I'll show you everything that we're doing, 30 lateral shuffle taps, 20 rollbacks, and 10 burpees. When you finish all those, you make it from 100 down to 10, you work your way back up. You don't have to repeat 10, you go straight to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You have 15 minutes to get through these 10 exercises and try to move your way back up to the top. Let's get after it. Again, you're on your own for these 15 minutes, so build in breaks when you need to. All right, guys, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. We're starting right here with 100 jumping jacks. Good, so get it after your jumping jacks. So you have 100 jumping jacks. I hope you're counting them out. Should take you probably over a minute and a half to get these done. From jumping jacks, you're moving into 90 butt kickers. So go ahead and look at me. If you're not looking at me, you're working on your jumping jacks. 100 jumping jacks after 100 jumping jacks. We're here for 90 butt kickers. Good, after your 90 butt kickers, you're working on 80 high knees. Get those knees up as high as you can. Good, so 100 jumping jacks, 90 butt kickers. 80 high knees keep getting after it we're already a minute in some of us are probably finishing up those jumping jacks totally okay move at your pace remember you're gonna have to build in your own breaks and i'm talking you through the process good 100 jumping jacks 90 butt kickers, 80 high knees. After 80 high knees, we move into 70 front kicks. So it's a front kick. We're coming here. Just alternating, all right? So here, 70 of those. All right, guys, again, 100 jumping jacks. 90 butt kickers, this is how it sounds, 80 high knees, if you have to slow it down, slow it down, okay, this is your workout, so do what you can do, 70 front kicks, Woo. you guys, we're already two and a half minutes into this, your jumping jack should definitely be over by now. You should be quite a bit of the way through your butt kickers. Remember, there's 90 of them, 80 high knees, 70 front kicks. After your 70 front kicks, we have 60 mountain climbers. Everybody knows what that is. Down in the plank position, you dig your toes up to your chest. Toe, toe, toe. So you get down here. Toe, 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 toe. All right? 100 jumping jacks. 90 butt kickers. 80 high knees. 70 front kicks. 60 mountain climbers. You guys got this? Again, now we are about three and a half minutes into this. So keep it moving, guys. Keep getting after it. 
you should be on your high knees at the very least. If you're at those front kicks, 70 of the front kicks. If you have to slow it down, slow it down. If you have to take the hop out and just kick here, do that. Do what you can do, all right? Knock it out nice and quick. This is your cardio portion. It's gonna go like this. Four minutes down right there. 70 front kicks. Maybe you speed it up. Maybe you hop. Get those legs up there. 70 here. 60 mountain climbers. All right, you have 60 mountain climbers after 70 front kicks. So again, 100 jumping jacks, 90 butt kickers, 80 high knees, 70 front kicks, add the hop if you can, 60 mountain climbers. Down here, plank position, digging those toes in, 60 mountain climbers. Five minutes down. Keep digging after your 60 mountain climbers. You have 50 plank jacks. This might be the time right here where you give yourself a little bit of time to recover because we're staying in that plank position. Plank jacks, you're here. Out, in, out, in. Plank jacks. All right, so 50 plank jacks. So you go 60 mountain climbers, 50 plank jacks. You should, at the very least, be finishing up your high knees. You're moving into your 70 front kicks. All right, these are gonna eat up a lot of time. It's gonna progressively get harder, too. I put your easier, simpler movements at the very beginning, higher reps. The further we go down, the harder this is gonna get. All right, we're six minutes in. 70 front kicks, 60 mountain climbers, 50 plank jacks. After your plank jacks, you have what's called a devil's press. We have 40 of them. Whew, it sounds a lot worse than what it actually is. The devil's press, you grab, grab your waist that you have with you. You have 40 of these, so you might wanna go a little bit lighter weight. Keep watching, keep working as you're watching, and I show you what this devil's press is. So you start with the weight in your hands, okay? You bring the weight down, you squat down, you pop out, you hit that high plank, you bring it back up, you hinge up, so you swing here from the hips, keep the weight up, and press back down. There's two. We have 40 of these total, all right? So 40 devil's press. All right, front kicks should be knocked out. We're seven and a half minutes deep. We're halfway, front kicks are knocked out. 60 mountain climbers, 50 plank jocks. All right, 50 plank jocks, 40 devil's press. I just showed you what that is. Weight down, plank, pull it back, hinge at the hips, bring that weight up the shoulder, sponge, Press to the top, back down. 40 of those guys, 40 devil's press. We're eating up a lot of time here. That's eight minutes down now. I know you guys are killing it. 60 mountain climbers, you're probably done with those. 50 plank jacks, 40 devil's press. Showed you what that is, knock it out. From there we have 30 lateral shuffle taps. All right, so after 
your devil's press. 30, lateral, shuffle, taps. What does that look like? Shuffle to the right, twice. Tap down. Shuffle to the left, twice. Tap down. So one, two, three, four, 30 of those. All right, so you guys are gonna knock those out quickly. Mountain climbers, I'm sure, are done. 50 plank jacks, 40 devil's press, 30 lateral shuffle taps. Shuffle to the right twice, tap. Shuffle to the left twice, tap. Each side counts as one. One, two, three, four. You guys got it. Good, from there, 20 roll backs. So keep working as you're watching. You guys are probably past plank jacks on your doubles press. Hopefully some of you are working on those lateral shuffle taps. 20 roll backs. You're here, you start standing, okay? You bring it down to the mat. You roll back, up, stand up, okay? We have 20 of these. So down, up, use that momentum, stand up. 20 of those, get the total body going. And of course, after your 20 rollbacks, you guys know I love to end with the 10. 10 is always burpees. So we end with 10 burpees. If you have time, you take it back up. So you do 20 rollbacks again. 30 lateral shuffle taps, okay? Okay, 40 devil's press. So down, plank, up. Hinge at the hips, get that weight up to the shoulder sponge, press to the top, devil's press. Good, there's 40 of those. 50 plank jacks, 60 mountain climbers, 70 front kicks, 80 high knees, 90 butt kickers, 100 jumping jacks. All right, guys, keep getting after it. You're about 11 and a half minutes in. So at least go from top to bottom, 100 to 10. So if you're taking a break right now, you might wanna wrap it up, cause you need to knock these out, okay? I want you to knock out all of these exercises. You have 15 minutes to do it. You have plenty of time. Let's get it done. If you gave each exercise 60 seconds, you still have time left over. But find your pace. Find your pace. The goal is to go 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. There's a lot of overachievers here. So if you need to, roll it right back up to the top. Do what you gotta do. Keep moving for the 15 minutes. We're almost 13 minutes in. We're looking at 12 and a half minutes right now which means you have two and a half minutes left. Again, if you finish your 40 devil's presses, you have 30 lateral shuffle taps. After 30 lateral shuffle taps, you have 20 roll back, standing at the top, take it, roll back, roll up, stand up. All right, that's gonna get that heart rate up there. 20 of those, 10, burpees, add that hop, get all the way down to the ground. I want a full out burpee. Hit the top, bring it down. We come here, plank position. Bring that body down to the floor. Press it back up. Frogger, stand up, add that hop at the end. 10 of those. Let's get through this guys. Whew. Looking good. We're 13 and a half minutes deep. We have a minute and a half left. 
Good, remember, if you've made it through, you're working your way back to the top after those 10 burpees. <laughs> you're like, what? Yes, after those 10 burpees, 20 rollbacks, 30 lateral shuffle taps, 40 doubles press. You guys, we have one minute left. Whatever you're working on, can you finish it? Can you finish this last exercise? Are you on your burpees yet? Try your hardest to get to your burpees if you haven't quite made it there yet. 15 minutes of work. I'll give you a nice two minutes of rest after this. We're quickly losing time here. Good. Less than 30 seconds left here. You guys got this. Keep digging, keep grinding, keep fighting. No more cardio after this. This is your cardio portion. Total body cardio. I know it started off so easy, so like, woo, I can do this, not a problem. And I know now you guys are you're questioning things, but you're gonna get it done. And time. You guys, go ahead and take some rest here. Take two minutes. I'm gonna give you a solid minute, and then I'm gonna start with instruction, because we have to get through our 15 minutes of strength. It's gonna be probably one circuit of five exercises. No rest, we're gonna just drive right through. We'll get a minute for each workout. I'm gonna give you a number of reps that I want you to hit within a minute. So your rest period is gonna be incorporated into how many reps you get done and how fast. Good. So now your heart rate is through the roof. I wanna allow it some time to come down so you can get that strength going. We're one minute deep into your break, you have a minute left. So I want you to go ahead and start getting in the mindset of your strength training. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the weights. I have five exercises total. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first one. I'll show you the second one while you're working. We have about 30 seconds left. Your first exercise here, I'm gonna show you from the side. We deadlift, so we take the weight down. We have a nice flat back from here. We back row and then stand up. Your goal here is 15 reps in one minute. Here we go. So go ahead and grab your weights, get set. You have 10 seconds. You have 15 reps in one minute. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so again, we here, nice flat back, back row, stand up nice and tall. So we're here for a minute solid. We're gonna do this exercise, it'll be a total of three times. Your second exercise, while you're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Weight up on the shoulders, left, right, press. Left, right, Press, okay? You have those for 15 as well. Good. 40 seconds down on this first exercise. 15 seconds left. We go right into the second exercise. You should have some rest time. Here we go, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, press. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, press. Awesome job, guys, you have 15 of these total. Speed it up if you have to, all right? If you have to take it into switch and then have that press at the end. Do what you gotta do, get it done. Good. After this, we take it down to your mat. We have 30 seconds left here. Go ahead and watch me. Chest press. 
Reach for the toes and down. Good, so we're getting that crunch in as we're working the chest as well. Here we go, guys. You have 10 seconds left for your reverse lunges at the shoulder press. Get through as many as you can. Three, two, one. We're down on the floor. Chest press with a crunch. We're here for 15. We're gonna go 15 everything. Whew. This is exercise number three. Chest press with a crunch. 15 reps. After that one, that one should give you some time to rest as well. From there, we go right side lunge, left side lunge, bicep curl. Right side lunge, left side lunge, bicep curl. Here we go. 10 seconds left for your chest press with your crunch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Lunge, whoop, lunge, bicep curl, lunge, lunge, bicep curl. Let's try to get 10 total, 10 to 12. 10 to 12, do what you can do. Find your number in there. 10 to 12, this is exercise number four. We're 25 seconds deep into exercise four. All right. Exercise five, what's it gonna be? What do you guys have thinking shoulders? You guys are really like, leave my shoulders alone. I'm thinking shoulders. Here we go, so hands out in front. Boom, to the top, and down, we're here for 15. So adjust your weight if needed. Here we go in three, two, one. So we're here, boom, and down, boom, and down. After this minute, we take it right back to the top, so we go back to the deadlift with the back row. And we're there for a minute, we have 15. Good. 15 for the first three exercises. Then we take it down. We have 10 to 12 for exercise number four. And we have 15 for the final exercise. 30 seconds deep, 30 seconds left to go on these. This should build you in a solid break before we go through round number two. Remember, we're doing this three times. Here we go, guys. 10 seconds left right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, remember we kind of deadlift, got back, back row, and up. Good, so we're here for a total of 15 in a minute. There's five right there. Woo. Keep grinding, keep grinding. Remember, after this one we go reverse lunge left, reverse lunge right, shoulder press to the top. Woo, keep getting after it. Keep grinding, knock it out. 20 seconds left, reverse lunge left, reverse lunge right, shoulder press is coming up. Finish out these deadlifts with the back row. Moving on in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, just go right into it. Lunge, lunge, press, lunge, lunge, press, lunge, lunge, press. There you go guys, knock it out. Get it done. Lunge, lunge, press. Lunge, lunge, press. Lunge, lunge, press. We're tight. We are short on time, so we need to compound these exercises so that you guys are getting the most bang for your buck. 
This is more of a hit style class. You have 20 seconds left here. After your 20 seconds, we go back down to the mat. We chest press, reach up for that abdominal crunch. Here we go. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Get down on your mat if you're not already there. Chest press 15. Hit that crunch at the top. So your feet are up in that pike position, toes flexed. We press. We then lift our shoulder blades off of the ground, reaching for your toes. Go 20 seconds deep right here. You have 15 total of these. After that, we stand it back up. We go lunge, lunge, bicep curl, lunge, lunge, bicep curl. We're more than halfway through your second round. We have three rounds of these, 15 minutes total. I'll give you a solid one minute breather after the fact, and we'll stretch. Here we go, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Ten to two, twelve of these. Lunge, lunge, bicep curl. Lunge, lunge, bicep curl. Lunge, lunge, bicep curl. You guys got this. Fifteen seconds down already. Ten to twelve of these. If you can go for fifteen, do it. I want it done. We got this. 30 seconds left of this one, and we move into our 15 circles before moving into our final, final set. Here we go. 15 seconds left. Lunge, lunge, curl. Lunge, lunge, curl. You guys got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. From here, tap to the top. Two, three, four, fifteen. We have fifteen of these, and we go through this circuit one final time. Give you a little minute breath work and we stretch, your favorite part. <laughs> the easiest part for maybe some of you. Here we go, guys. Less than 30 seconds left here on these. 15, two, woo, three. I know these are hard. Take the weight down if you need to. This doesn't need to be a heavy weight on these. Here we go, let's wrap it up in five, four, three, two, one. Back to the top, final time, 15. We have deadlift, back row. 15 of these, final round. You guys got this. Woo, let's get after it. 20 seconds down already. This is your last round. Again, you get a minute breath after this. We stretch. So the hard stuff is almost over. We dial it back after. Keep grinding. 15, remember 15. Deadlift, back row, stand up nice and tall. Deadlift, back row, stand up nice and tall. We got this. 10 seconds left here. We move into those reverse lunges. In three, two, one, good. Remember, weight up here in your hands. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, shoulder press. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, shoulder press. Last time here, guys. Let's knock it out. 15 total. So I want 15 lunges on left, 15 lunges on right, and 15 shoulder presses total. Let's knock it out. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds left. 
Keep working on these reverse lunges with the shoulder press. Reminder after we're on the floor, we hit chest press with a crunch. 15. You have 15 seconds to knock these reverse lunges with the shoulder press out. We're on the floor. So get ready. If you've already finished, go ahead and get down. Get set. Let's knock it out. Three, two, one. We're down. Chest press. Crunch to the top. Chest press. Crunch to the top. For this one, shoulders, you are, sorry, elbows, you don't want level with the shoulders. Actually bring it down just a little bit. Press to the top and down. You have your floor here supporting you. If you happen to have a bench, you can use the bench. You get a little bit wider range of motion. Crunch up to the top. Try to get your toes with your hands. 20 seconds left here. We stand it back up and we go into lateral lunge right, lateral lunge left, bicep curl for 10 to 12. Here we go, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. We go right, center, left, center, bicep curl, right, center, left, center, bicep curl. All right, we're here, 10 to 12, or one minute, whatever happens to come first. We're approaching the very end. You're very close to your one minute break. And then stretching to finish it out. Here we go, less than 30 seconds here. After this, we move into our taps to the top. So palm faces out for the entire time. Tap to the top and down. Tap to the top and down. You guys got this. Here we go in three, two, one. Last exercise, tap to the top and down. 15 or one minute, whatever comes first. You guys got this. Very close to the end here. 45 seconds left. Plus an extra minute breather after the time that you finish with these. So I recommend knocking these out. We move into our stretching next. Good, palms facing out. Round, tap at the top, down. Control it though. Don't go willy-nilly with the arms. Control and down. Control and down. You should also get a nice little stretch in the arms as you bring it down. All right, guys, final count down. Here we go in three, two, one. Relax. You have a minute here. Grab some water. Get your breath right. I want you to meet me on the floor on your mat. So we're moving into stretching next. Morning to finish up your water break and meet me down here on your mat so we can stretch it out. In three, two, one. Good. So I'm going to have you guys come to a nice seated position. We're going to bring our feet, the bottoms of our feet together for a nice butterfly position. We're gonna sit nice and tall and evenly on our sit bones. From here, I'm gonna have you gently pull yourself forward. I want you to use your elbows to work on pressing your knees away from each other or closer to the floor, whichever version of that resonates with you. So maintain that nice flat back. 
Continue to press your knees away, and let's breathe here for three. Good, from here I want you to sit up nice and tall, relax the legs. You can shake them out if you need to. We're gonna take that stretch one more time. So sitting up nice and tall, grabbing at your ankles, feet and soles of the feet are together. With a nice flat back, we reach forward, we press the knees away, down towards the ground. Take a few breaths here. shake it out. From here we're going to extend the legs out in front of us. You can shake the legs out if needed. Nice flat back here. While sitting up nice and tall we're going to gently walk the hands out. Find that stretch and hold here for three breaths. Walk your hands back up to the top of the mat, shake it out. We're going to take that two more times. So coming here, walking the hands forward out in front of you. Feeling that slight stretch. Take a few breaths. And walk the hands back. Good. We're going to take that one final time, so shake it out if you need to. From here, we walk the hands forward. Let's go ahead and round up the spine, try to bring the forehead to the knees. We take three breaths here. shoulder, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, chin to ceiling, take it back, left ear, left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder, chin to ceiling. Good, from here I'm going to have you gently make your way back to the top. So we're going to stand up. If you need something to hold on to, go ahead and find something. I'm going to have you kick that right leg back, grabbing at the foot, pointing the knee down to the ground. I want you to, instead of arching your back back, I want you to tuck that hip under. You're going to get a nice deep quad stretch here. That's what we're looking for. Breaths. And relax down. We're going to go ahead and take that other leg. Kick that left leg back. Grabbing at the foot. Remember, we're not arching the legs back. We want the knee in line with the other knee. And we're going to press the hips forward. Getting a good quad stretch on the left side. Taking a few breaths here. Squat to the left, squat to the right, back to the left. We're going to allow that right toe to reach up to the ceiling. Come here, get a nice stretch in that inner thigh, taking a few breaths. Good, go ahead, bring it back up, squat to the right, squat to the left. Bring it over to your right side, that left toe comes up. I'm going to get a nice stretch in that left side here. Take a few breaths. Good. Go ahead and 
stand it up. You can walk the legs back in if you'd like. From here, we bring the left arm across the chest. Right arm assists either above or below the elbow joint. Just make sure you're not on the actual elbow. Take a few breaths here. And relax it down, right arm across, above or below the elbow joint. Take a few breaths here. And relax. Left arm nice to the left ear, reach for mid back, right arm assist. Take a few breaths. Relax it down, right arm reaches up. Next to right ear, reaches for mid back, left arm assists. Few breaths here. And relax it down. From here, we bring the hands together behind us. Good, so I want you to clasp back here. Clasp back, not clap back. <laughs> and from here, we bring it over, getting a nice stretch through the front of the biceps, into the chest, into the shoulder. Get a few breaths. And from here, we're gonna do what I like to call the Michael Phelps. We bring the feet together. Straighten the legs. Get one more nice hamstring stretch going here. Back the opposite direction for another three. And you guys are almost set. All finished for today. Awesome job. We had to dig deep, work hard. This class isn't easy. Tell your friends. <laughs>